There is good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? This familiar statement was probably originated by Israeli prophets, which were overwhelmingly killed by their own people, primarily because their prophecies were predominantly bad news. However, laced within these predictions were messages of good news meant for those individuals that God deemed worthy to physically escape the event predicted in the bad news. The classic example of this is Noah and the Flood. The bad news in Noah's case was that the human race was going to be washed away by the flood. The good news was that God provided Noah with instructions on how to physically escape this extinction-level event. Similarly, prophecies concerning the end times also contain this combination of both bad news and good news. Previously, we determined in video 9 that the prophetic scriptures describe six major events which will take place within the final seven years. We began by identifying the advent of Christ, which is the sixth event. We noted in video 10 that the first event is a covenant which is confirmed by the Antichrist and based on a 365-day calendar year, we deduced that the covenant will be confirmed 2,555 days before the advent of Christ. We further found that the second event is the beginning of the construction of the third temple and the start of the animal sacrifices by Israel. We determined in video 11 that the third event is the downing of the host of stars by the Antichrist, which will occur 2,300 days before the return of Christ. In video 9, we found that the fourth event is the desecration of the yet to be built temple by the Antichrist. This desecration will denote the start of the Great Tribulation period, 1,265 days prior to Christ's return. In video 10, we briefly introduced the fifth event, the wonders in the heavens, where the sun will be darkened and the moon will turn blood red, which will occur immediately after the Tribulation three and a half days before the second coming of Christ. In this video, we're going to take a closer examination of this fifth event and determine what you can expect to see in these final three and a half days leading up to the end of the age and the return of Christ. Shalom, my name is Guy Smith, and this is the 13th video in this channel as the days of Noah. Just as Noah was forewarned of the impending flood, God has also forewarned us that an extinction-level event lies in man's immediate future. This warning is that something from the far reaches of space is hurtling toward Earth. Some of the effects of this apocalyptic body are depicted in the first four trumpets in Revelation. At the sounding of the first trumpet, Hail and fire are predicted to fall to the earth, destroying one-third of the trees and all grass. At the blowing of the second trumpet, John describes what appears to be a burning mountain falling into the sea, causing the death of one-third of the world's oceans. The third trumpet describes a great star falling from space, which will destroy one-third of the world's rivers. The destruction described in the first three trumpets isn't a worldwide phenomena. Rather, this is a depiction of the destruction of one-third of the planet concentrated in one area. To give you a better idea, I have taped approximately one-third of this globe in order to illustrate the vast area 
that is slated to be decimated by this impact. The effects of this celestial collision will send dust and ash into the upper atmosphere, immediately blocking out one-third of the sky over the affected area. This impact on Earth will be so intense, according to Isaiah, that it will knock Earth out of its present orbit and will cause our planet to begin wobbling like a drunkard. And it doesn't matter where the impact takes place, because it is a worldwide extinction level event, where without divine intervention, no flesh would be saved. This is the fifth event, three and a half days before the advent of Christ. And for those individuals that don't know Christ, this is the bad news. The good news, however, is that the outcome of this event will be divinely circumvented for the sake of the remnant believers. The elect, which are those of you found worthy to escape the coming apocalypse and be alive at the advent of Christ. And just as Noah was provided with the ark as a refuge from the flood, God has provided Mount Zion in Jerusalem as the place of refuge for the remnant of you that he calls. And of those of you which watch and pray, know and understand that the time to flee for the mountain fortress known as the old city of Jerusalem is when you see the abomination of desolation desecrate the yet-to-be-built third temple. And in order to physically escape this apocalyptic period called the Great Tribulation, the prophetic scriptures provide three events, which are signs that will indicate when you must be in the Jerusalem area. And of those of you that do endure the end of the age, it is you that will be rescued from this apocalyptic event. This is the good news of the kingdom, as it was preached by Christ. More information can be found at thewhitestonechronicle.com.